We talked about the rise in woke on woke crime, and it looks like the it's being accelerated, if you will. We have uh, some more, yet another example. The one I talked about the other day. You have Disney going against what's um, what's the chick's name? Uh, excuse me, Scarlett Johansson. Just drew a blank there. They going at it, applying woke cards. Pandemic, because I'm a woman. Uber reverse. It's, uh, it's getting fascinating. But we have another one. And this is spicy. Actress Susan Sarandon leads a protest against New York State Representative Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez for not keeping Medicare for all campaign promises. Whew. Let's see what this is about. Renowned Hollywood actress and left-wing activist Susan Sarandon was recently seen leading a protest against United States Representative Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez and her declaring the pol- to the politician, we're losing hope that you represent us. Well, when you, when you actually understand how government works, you'll realize that them representing you is an oxymoron. It absolutely cannot happen. It's illogical, actually, that a bunch of I know, let's get philosophical with it real quick, that individuals actually believe that there is an asshole that can be sent off to Washington that can represent not only just yourself, but people in your geographical area as if you all think the same like fucking robots. It doesn't make sense. It's never made sense. Yet we still not we, y'all still have these conversations about people representing you. And you think that's a thing that's actually able to be achieved. It is not. On twenty on July 26th, the megaphone, well, with a megaphone in hand, Sarandon stood in front of the Congresswoman's Bronx office and expressed her disappointment in the Democratic representative calling out Ocasio-Cortez for not delivering on various promises. Her and her colloquially, colloquially, excuse me, named squad. According to reports, Sarandon said, I'm here to say the squad and especially AOC dropping names. Bam. Who, you know, did make a lot of promises that we still have faith in you. And we would like to see if you have a better plan than we've been able to see. Please share it. Basically saying what a receipt. If there's a pathway that you've got that we're not aware of, please share it because we're losing hope that you represent us. And it's so difficult for people that are independent to get elected in the first place. Well, she's not an independent. She's just a Democrat. The fuck? And then to see very people that sponsored the bill not stand up for it. Sarandon continued. It's very disheartening. I don't know how old Sarandon is. She's got to be like 60. The fact that you are just now catching up on this or catching on to how this works, I'm not going to give you that much crap, believe it or not, because I'd rather you get it now than get it later. But unfortunately, what you do advocate is stupid, which AOC advocates is stupid. Both of you are idiots, but you guys are trying to kind of, uh, let's say, outwoke one another or from a this standpoint, more so out socialist one another. And you're upset that they're not or she is not delivering um, on her promises of free health care, which means stealing from taxpayers as well as assets of unborn people, future generations to pay for the government who now has a monopoly on the uh let's say <laughs> medical industry, if that's what you want to call it. The fact that this is happening in AOC is what I find most hilarious, but don't lose sight of what actually is taking place here. This is what AOC's job was. Her job was to push what you deem as mainstream modern leftism further that way. And she was very successful in that. I think we uh, people often think that she is ditzy and she is. But this is politics we're talking about. This is government we're talking about. You don't have to be the smartest person in the world to be influential. 
So people that laughed her off were doing so incorrectly. But her job was to push them to the left to the point to where what we have now is that she's not leftist enough. Imagine that. Imagine her, of all people, not being leftist enough. Not delivering on their promises of these sort of leftist, uh, economic leftist, socialistic ideals it is that she, of course, has been trying to implement. They say you're not trying hard enough. And it'll never be enough, to be fair, when you're dealing with that crowd. But that's her serving her purpose. And this is just yet another example of it where you have this rise of other people who are saying her, of all people, ain't ain't getting a job done. So she has effectively pushed that. Because that's what the conversation is being had. Right. That's what that's how leftists operate. And this is why they're so successful and why the country uh, of America has not moved the opposite way. Really, ever. It's moved closer and closer towards state socialistic efforts because they get these guys who come by and they push it towards the left. And that that point, you have another guy that comes behind them. Maybe it's a decade after the fact. Bernie Sanders of the world. They push them further to the left. They claim to be independent, but they they vote right alongside the other Democrats. And definitely when they have a more national presidential run, they run with uh, run as Democrats anyway. Their job is to push them further that way. And the leftists will take that. So if they can't get free health care, they'll get heavily subsidized health care. They'll get more state control of it, more state regulated um, uh, uh, efforts. So maybe growing the pool of people who are living on this free sort of welfare statism until the next person comes along 10 years from now. And because they're not going to stop pushing for that and they push it even further. You got to pay attention to how these guys operate. AOC, all this does is show me now that they put her in her crosshair or their crosshairs. All that does is show us that AOC was successful in what her purpose was. And that was pushing that demographic or that the mainstream authoritarian left further to the absolute left. Pay attention. She's ditzy. But I told y'all when she was even first elected, she was dangerous because she represents an entire generation. And that unfortunately is mine. Her and I are the same age. (laughs) But she seriously, she represents an entire generation of, of, of brainlets who believe that it is the state's job to take care of you, uh, play mama and play daddy. But she is serving her purpose, serving it very well by pushing the mainstream conversation to the left and the rise of activists that are now criticizing her. Goes to goes to show exactly that, because at one point, at some point, well, the AOCs of the world, they become what is deemed mainstream. They be uh, for for leftism. They become the establishment, if you will. Should have been paying attention to her. She's dangerous. She's crazy as hell. She she ditzy. And she's a dangerous son of a gun. You just watched a clip from my podcast for Canon's sake. Catch us live at 12 p.m. throughout the week over at youtube.com slash youngripper59 and follow us over at odyssey.com slash at youngripper59. If you want to watch the entire video cast after the show is over, just be sure to become a member on the YouTube channel. Of course, the full audio portion of the podcast is available for free on all major digital platforms or just visit forcanonsake.com.